Hi, uh, mine's done. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I hope you're doing extremely well, and we are your uh, friendly neighborhood wizards back with the tale of two wizards and we're back to just have some fun some clean fun and share ideas i hope you find it beneficial and interesting so welcome welcome everyone okay so let's dive right into it my esteemed colleague and dear friend uh, so um i think we wanted to speak about uh, protection and that words are spells. Hmm. So these these um, are intertwined very nicely into each other. Uh, so let's perhaps start with words, what these are, how they hold meaning and power, and then how they can apply to uh, every dimension, not just the physical. How do they turn into spells that transcend time and space? You got me on that one. Let me brain think. Uh, <laughs> I, I think sometimes, even if you think of a word, just say, I hate him. You're sending your energy, you're attacking that being. And you might not even know it. Sometimes you do know it. So you've just got to be careful what you say and how you say it. Because most of the English uh, words are deliberately been conjured up last to do that uh i, th I think uh positive affirmations positive speaking helps everything and I i'll show you one now i'll share screen i'll try and jump it a little bit uh and i'll, I'll show you what you can do every morning one minute can you see that uh that one oh yeah if you do that every morning, then you're going to have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. I wouldn't do it 108 times, though. <laughs> Just do uh, the one. you you got to be a little persistent for certain types of magic, but once yeah. every morning seems to do the trick. Yeah. And uh, what, what this does is, what it does is it's programming your light, your day, to make sure. Now, if you did, just before you go to sleep, you go into like a, a deep like a, a sleep that you connect with your consciousness so what you can do with that you can actually manifest so this is good for making a good day but at night it's good for manifesting and part of that manifesting could be uh, you can ask your whoever you your deity is or whoever your guides are and ask for pr protection while you're asleep yeah would you get that that sounds good I'll, I'll stop screen screen fantastic yeah so well, yeah affirmations in the morning you know I, I thought i didn't have it but then i did <laughs> well it was meant but, to be it seems but people just before you go to sleep you're connecting with your consciousness your consciousness can uh you can manipulate your conscious by you know, the last things you think about you can think of what you want to manifest but also you can start thinking about protection, protecting you. Because while you sleep, you've got to really be careful, I suppose. But then you, you can have tools around you. Which, yeah. What do you, have you got anything on that? Uh, yes, sir. So let's look at consciousness, what meaning is. And it seems the closest civilization that has made it into modern records um, would be the Egyptian culture, where they understood the power of two-dimensional images. In their hieroglyphs, their hieroglyphic language, they represented meaning in two-dimensional form. Well, it seems that this is spot on. This is the way the human brain understands. Uh, everything in our mind is associated, every word, every meaning is associated with a 2D picture called a lima. And then this is used in the process of creating speech. Once we hear something, this is then translated back into these 2D pictures. So cognition and understanding um, is essentially a process of using 2D pictures stored and associated with meaning. Uh, and so now this comes into play with 
spells created in 2D format in a flat surface on the surface of temples. But this can then be extended uh, through inner speech uh, or covert speech um, into the same energy of consciousness. Um, then this can be um, further empowered through articulation when we use the vocal cords and the voice, we're giving it extra energy, uh, the carrier or amplifier of sound. So if it's articulated aloud, it has even more meaning and also more neural energy uh, because the process of movement takes planning and effort also. So words very much so are conscious things. They can be boiled down into 2D pictures, like the 2D picture of a tree, a man, a wave, a river, a curse, or a blessing. So just because we don't say something out loud doesn't mean it doesn't have power. It has the exact signature, although it is not sent out into the physical space. But still, all things are consciousness. And so it occurs in your mind, and if you repeat it in your mind, it is just as potent. So the intentions are very, very critical in creation. Uh, the other component that seems to play a very important role is emotion. Now, if somebody thinks, oh, I, I hate that guy, or I hate that girl, and they feel this hatred, then that takes a life of its own, potentially... Um, going uh, above and beyond the boundaries of time and space. Last time we spoke about that last breath and how powerful that is. Mm -hmm. Imagine the last words that someone utters with those, with the last breath would be a powerful curse, wishing somebody ill will. That is something incredibly potent, uh, almost unbreakable. To remove it, you have to go back to the moment it is uttered and negotiate with that consciousness that's basically uh, speaking this into existence. But then something else comes into play. There are many beings that interact with humanity uh, who are not anchored into our reality, meaning they cannot interact, they cannot manifest. The only loophole is to get a human to do it for them. And so there comes the idea of intrusion into the consciousness or into the mind, where suddenly a negative thought comes in. And if the I, person... I, I, I was thinking the same. You, you, get, you get that thought and it might not be your thought. Yeah. And so they manifest through people, that yeah. sense of dread, sadness. When you're healing someone and you're taking their energy, that, that negative part of them, it's coming into your your being, and without grounding, you've got you can you can have voices and everything. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Absolutely, the echoes or the resonance of that consciousness of the intruder lives on. Mm. So maybe the person is too weakened, or they are not at a sufficient level of awareness to deal with it. But as a practical healer, uh, we have seen this many times. Mm. So we can negotiate and diffuse the situation. If need be, we go the way of fire and brimstone. Whatever is needed towards balance and equilibrium mm. and ultimate healing. Yeah, because it, it's actually lowering your vibration. That, that negative thought is lowering your vibration. It can make you ill or you can even pass the illness on if you don't do anything about it. Yeah. Absolutely. So these, these words, these wordy words... Well, there seems to be something with them. Uh, another interesting thing, um, and uh, Philip, you've probably come across this quite frequently. Um, injuries done with weapons that contain words. And mm. this is a practice that goes on even in the modern day. You may see different armies and the soldiers write messages on the bombs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Death to yeah. what and what and uh, you, may you so and so. Those words seem to extend the injury beyond the physical. You may come across many different people with ancient injuries where the sword or the spear or the axe or whatever had these engravings, words of power on them, and they Ta carry the injury. Yeah, targets. That's the target. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so, yes, 
Uh, shall we now talk about uh, remedies towards undoing these words of power? Sometimes more powerful, sometimes less powerful. There's ways to enhance them or weaken them. Okay. Shall I show you one idea to do it while you're sleeping? There you go. I'll share screen again. So yeah, a little bit prepared today. So what you do, you get one of these or not that one. You create a crystal grid. Yeah? That's the flower of life. These these are all power units. I think the best one is this one. So this this is the middle one. This is the power. This is the uh, crown chakra as well. Even though some say it's turquoise, it can be clear as well. And these are like the transforming. And all you do is you program it by putting your hand over it and and getting the crystals to absorb any negativity that comes into the room while you sleep. Now, what you can do, and this is an, a, a secret I'm going to, let's just see what else I've got. You can actually do a sound healing with a thing. You can hit it, hit it, put the setting, the program by your mind, and that frequency will, will it'll, you, won't, it, you won't be able to hear it overnight, but that'll protect you overnight as well. So all these are like crystal grids. Yeah, crystal grids. That, that's one where you'd probably put something like that under the bed, but that's going far too extreme. Now, you know how you do, I get a dream catcher to put, to save you from save you from uh, dark dreams. Put the dream catcher on the table next to you while you sleep, and put the crystals on. That just not only traps uh, traps your negative dreams; it traps the energy coming in to give you that. So you're actually stopping it even entering your head. That's it. Is that a new one? <laughs> no, no, well, well uh, no, it's, it's, it's spot on. Uh, although the way we design patterns may be unique, but the, the, the technology, the approach is very much valid. Mm. Absolutely. I've, I've gone a little overboard. Uh, <laughs> I've turned the whole house into a big pattern. So planted crystals in strategic locations. Um, around the house, in the house, around the, the room I sleep in, around the bed. So many layers of these empowered. Uh, so absolutely effective. This is now transferring that intention into another type of two-dimensional pattern. Mm -hmm. uh, what mm -hmm. seems to be common is symmetry. Uh, these grids are symmetrical. Yeah. And so no matter where the energy is coming from, it will be facing a similar level of, let's say, defense. There is no weakness in this approach. Mm. Uh, now, turning this into um, a three dimensional pattern would like, for example, the shape of a pyramid. That's going to also enhance this effect very much. So certain chambers in the pyramids were used ceremonially for healing but when, also, when, I, when i program the flower of life i actually in my mind turn it into a three-dimensional figure yeah so. yes winner winner yeah. winner yeah oh something now this is going to amuse you greatly i've mm. come across a number of people who think the flower of life is evil and i kind of think uh for a moment, um, really? Or Metatron's <laughs> cube is evil. And then I kind of think, um, uh, really? But then I think about the flower of life representing, among many other things. Can I say one go, thing? Go, 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 it's go, the go, purse, go. it's the operator, that's the evil or the dark. The flower of life is just the program. It's who yes. uses it, yeah. Who uses it depends, yeah. It's, it's representing many things, among which is the mechanism of uh, cellular life. Like yeah. all life on Earth, without cells, there is no life. So how could that be evil? You're absolutely right. It's the, it's the technology. It's like a hammer. You use to mm. build a house or you smash somebody's head in. So, mm. yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, you clarified uh, it very yeah, quickly. I, I think... Uh... <laughs> Being on Earth, is it bad? Is it evil? <laughs> it depends how you look at it. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I wanted to sh this crystal ball I showed you. This 
this automatically takes all the dark energy out of the room yeah and it transmutes it into good so it actually does does a purpose so it not only wow. locks it it actually transmutes it so beautiful and it's just yeah. like a filter like an yeah. air purifier or water yeah. filter that's it <laughs> but even better you don't need to change the filter you're transmuting it so it's a perpetual mm. cleansing uh, device yeah amazing and, and so um you shared um the approach where you place it in the middle of the singing bowl use sound to enhance the programming yeah um what approaches do you find useful for programming crystals? Uh, well, you've got to, you've got to realize that crystals are conscious, so they are like a, a being in a way. So you've got to treat them like a being, and you can't just order them or anything. You've got to, they've got to be part. They're not part of you actually, but they are a separate being. So uh, you don't just order them to do something. You, you you show them what you what you need, what help you need and uh, they're fine if you don't do it right they'll probably disappear <laughs> so true so true and uh probably many among our wonderful audience will have come across this this uh, phenomena that that crystals move about they seem to come in and out as they please you put it you can swear i've put it in this location you come back it's gone uh, a number of days pass and then it's back there again or somewhere different. So it seems that they have a mind of their own very much so. Mm. Um, yes, I agree with you. Uh, it, they, they, they are conscious beings, uh, hosts to uh, very evolved sentient beings sometimes and they, they absolutely deserve to be treated uh, like a friend, an ally. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Agreed. Agreed. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm. Wow, so grounding. Oh uh, well, well, we talk. Go on, go on. Yeah, when I was a child, I used to get attacked by demons. I know some of them were plants by the angels, and I was wor worried when I was asleep. How do I know they're there? So what I did, I created like in the back of your head is where your psychic ability comes through. So I created a an alarm. So if anything dark in the room entered the space, my space, it would set off. And it was set off in a way that would wake me up and I think I'm being attacked, get ready. And I was ready for it. Uh, so that's a way of protecting, that's a way of getting ready for the, but you've got to then be able to sort out what comes in, but grounding the room could probably do it. Yeah. The other, the other thing is if your eye vibration, the la chances of getting attacked are a little slimmer. I don't know yeah to, to to a certain point let's say somebody has very recently gone through a milestone or stage of evolution where they're brand new to that level it seems to be those moments right after when they're more susceptible mm. until they acclimate and find their bearings and then it seems they're good uh, so um, the moments after a healing or cleansing are really important for the person to try to maintain all levels of cleanliness. So um, cleansing with uh, uh, smudging the place with sound, with crystals, with prayers, uh, with anything available. Also ma making sure they're not coming into contact with uh, people with heavy energy. Mm. Uh, not listening to music or watching movies with bad energy. So the healing really uh, takes, so to speak. Um, yeah, mm. immediately after, that's when people are um, susceptible. But mm. then you're absolutely right. Say the dark stuff is down here and you're up here. So these guys, no matter how much they wiggle around, they can't reach you. Mm. And that's why when you do healing, you can go to their level by the energy you're picking off people. Yeah. It, one of the protection, I think I mentioned the halo, but you can do it around your house. You can you can uh, visualize a, a big halo top of your house and it just goes down and it's basically cleansing everything inside it. So, yeah. Same approach, different visualization here. Mm. I like the shape and the dynamic movements of fire. Yeah. So instead of a um, halo, I, I mm, use the 
let's say, mind form or creative program of a dynamic flame that changes color. Uh, so this can be used in internal centers of the body. Yeah, like the, 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 the arrow changes color as well. And it goes to different colors <laughs> like yellow, green, okay. red. Yeah, it's very similar. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, and it's the first time we're discussing this. It seems somewhat different in style. Like you dance a mean flamenco and I do a mean, <laughs> a mean belly dance. Uh, but it seems, it seems dance is dance. Yeah, eventually yeah. we get it done. <laughs> yeah. It, it does the same result, yeah. It does what it says on the packet, yeah. Absolutely. And, oh, yes, this business of grounding. Well, uh, <laughs> we talked about the benefits of hamburgers <laughs> in actually grounding you when you're floating around, right? So people are going to get a kick out of this. Well, if you want to take off for the first time, you eat light foods, Mm. maybe uh, fresh fruit, maybe juices. But if you're floating about with the fairies and you want to anchor yourself down, a hamburger seems to do a nice job. Mm. But about this grounding, because um, many people may uh, have experience in healing, and yet we're all exposed to so many types of energy, uh, some of them not good. How do we ground? So would you kindly share your approach to this? The, the best way of grounding is probably to lie down on a grass in the park on the grass with the sun shining on you that, that, you're connecting you're becoming the earth basically and the earth's healing you and it takes it all out or a tree trees are really well, good for that trees are good for agreed that. agreed absolutely so i think it 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 is it, is what you read on the label grounding mm. like ground 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 and, and the tree is like a friend like the crystal that's what you've got. You've got to treat with respect. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Absolutely. Mm. But there's more to the trees than just their energetic structure. Um, so it seems they are, well, they are the oldest life forms, physical life forms on Earth, both yeah. in the ocean and on the surface. And they're the only uh, kingdom that didn't sell out. Mm. Everyone else sold out and bowed to the invasion and the pressure of the system of control, but the trees, but the plant kingdom. So they maintained their connection to source. This is probably why they have been treated so cruelly throughout mm. human history. And also they give the gift of facilitating connection to source. So in the correct setting, Again, I love how you mentioned treating them like a friend. Uh, the, the awareness and reverence for their consciousness comes in here. Mm. Uh, that plant medicine is also a great way to ground and heal. Um, so in many ceremonies, like uh, ayahuasca ceremonies, they use um, rapé or hapé, uh, which is blown into the sinuses. Is that, Again, that's, this is, is that, that's nicotine, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Uh, I've had, I've had that. Yeah, I've had that. It's, it's all right. It's brilliantly effective. Mm. But again, uh, before this, the ceremony has to be done, you call to the consciousness of the plant, give it reverence and thanks, and then respectfully ask for healing and grounding and the medicine and the wisdom. It works. So that's I, another. I, yeah, go please. Yeah. I've done some else with the plant spirits. Uh, what you can do with the plant spirits, you can bring in, bring the spirit in. You don't need Dioscar or anything like that. And what they can do, if you need to repair an organ, they can wrap roots around the organ, stay there, and they'll take out the badness. Yeah, that's a new one, that. <laughs> but what they could do while talking to you, they could put protection on you, couldn't they? You could use that. They, well, not using they, they could wrap around an energy field around you and they could protect you. Yeah. Philip, this is resonating. This is very old. Mm. What you just spoke about, it's not been in use for a very long time. Mm. 
uh, this is this is fey technology humans i suppose have never been aware of this yeah. Are, are, are we are we spilling the secrets? Are we, yeah, going, well. are we are we going to have fairies on our ass coming around? <laughs> hey, who told you can do this? No, no, no. That's our. That's ours. <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. Oh yeah. Mm. I, I didn't know you had you had uh, Fay Tech. <laughs> yeah, very impressive. Wow. Oh yes. Yeah. So yes, like a protective cocoon. And so I suppose while we're at it, let's just go to this segue of healing chambers. Mm -hmm. It seems many uh, sentient beings have these chambers. Uh, they've been in use, including among earlier uh, evolved humans, mm -hmm. um, taking advantage of vibration, sound. Um, even today, it's in use for therapeutic purposes in the form of ultrasound. Um, so the chamber is where there's a focal point of healing energy. Now, whether it's sound or light uh, or, let's say, a higher vibrational form of energy or consciousness, they seem to exist. Pleiadians have them. Arcturians have them. Orions have them. Every species seems to come across their own approach to it. Um, could you share um, your um, experience with these different types of healing chambers? I, I actually create them on the healing bed. And so what you do is you channel crystal source energy into the bed. So what they're laying on is the crystal, like, like Atlantean, Atlantis. So the, the bed's got crystal energy. So you, you connect to a crystal source being and they'll put the energy in there. Then you, then you create from the 22nd chakra, Christ consciousness, two spirals at the head, and then they're programmed to go up and down the bed. Yeah, up and down the bed. Then you, then you channel in central sun, which is light source, that blows into the auric field. And that's that's my my own made healing bed. <laughs> yeah, it's extraordinary. Extraordinary. So so you 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 basically downloaded this wisdom. You haven't read yeah. it in any book. Okay. No no no. I'm it's... using um, an identical approach again with a different visualization. I suppose the visualization part or the end result comes down to the body. Uh, mm -hmm. how, how we translate the downloaded wisdom. So first things first, esteemed ladies and gentlemen, this knowledge is eternal. Um, myself and my esteemed colleague are examples of independent downloading of this eternal wisdom. The way I approach is, as I've translated it differently, connecting heaven to earth and earth to heaven two vital spirals of um, um, healing energy going through the vessel, connecting to source and anchoring it into the earth. So it seems the way we have translated this wisdom to fit the conscious mind and then the movements and application are somewhat different. But again, like the example of dance, we dance in different styles, but it's <laughs> all the same thing. Yeah, exactly. This is so heartwarming. This is mm. so heartwarming that no matter what has happened to us mighty humans, the wisdom that benefits us is at our fingertips. If we just call, it comes in. Mm. At, at, at the healing center where I do it, my job is to go, is to actually put crystal source energy in all the beds. They've actually told me that's my job. <laughs> so before everyone starts, I actually do that. I can't do the spirals and the others more difficult, but I can, if you've got crystal source energy into the bed, you basically it's balancing your chakra system as soon as you lie down, basically. Yeah. Powerful. You can you can see or perceive it like a powerful water jet just breaking or washing off any kind of blockage, purifying as it goes through. Then you've got yeah. these two independent spirals going. Wow. I, I see it. I actually see it. So. Mm. Wow. And late, lately, probably because I don't get enough sleep, I, I don't even have to scry to see it. You know, I don't have to dip my eyes. I just see it straight away sometimes. So, yeah. 
Interesting. Interesting how we both. <laughs> it's, 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 amazing. Amazing, but, yeah. it's, it's amazing. It just fills my heart with joy. Mm. Uh, that at the end of the day, it seems that mm, humanity is loved. Uh, that there seems to be a storehouse of un, um, unchanged, uh, uninterrupted um, wisdom available to everyone. So all you really need is an open heart and the correct intention to start pulling it in. Yeah. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Amazing, amazing. Um, we were talking about seeing and scrying. Hey, let's 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 jump from <laughs> branch to branch. Scrying. Yeah. So, um, okay, scrying. Um, so would it be correct in in trying to define it this way uh, using um, other parts of our consciousness to get correct information and then somehow translate it through the body in a way that the conscious mind understands mm. yeah so yes or no yeah left or right uh, oh i do i just uh, it's a bit like blurring the eyes so you, you, you dip and you, it's as though you're there, but you're looking here and all of a sudden the full picture starts coming around. Yeah, it's going. Correct, correct, correct. It's good uh, for so seeing auric fields, auric fields of people. It's good for that. Yeah. People have used uh, crystal balls, glass balls, or maybe if you've got a whole lot of money, maybe a quartz, clear quartz uh, sphere or orb. Uh, obsidian mirrors, uh, bowls with water, uh, no, turned what, what, off iPads. What, what, what I've got one here. I've got one here. Yeah, there you go. Here, oh, yes. Oh, um, wow, wow, wow. And you fill it with water. You can fill it with oil. You can do it with water, but I, okay. I do know we've filled it with oil. But I don't know what type of oil. I don't think it's uh, the normal oil. Ah, beautiful. Uh, I yeah. love that because you know the obsidian is so is well it's basically volcanic glass the yeah. slightest thing and you chip the damn thing and it breaks your heart oh no I chipped my favorite little uh, scrying <laughs> tool but water that's perfect or oil as the surface is clear uh, you relax the gaze and it seems you relax yourself too and it starts coming in me, me, uh, I've cr noticed. Yeah, me crystal ball. My wife could do it very well, but I can't. <laughs> yeah, so you, you, you've got to really focus inside, but you've got to empty your mind. That's that's the trick of it all. Yeah, you start seeing fog form. That's yeah. your key. That okay, where the gates are opening. Mm. But I've noticed that your bowl has not seen use in a little while. It seems that you have you have evolved beyond it. Mm. <laughs> that that seems to happen. So yeah. again, for our esteemed audience, all these tools are pretty cool training wheels, mm. like on a little uh, bicycle. <laughs> yeah, I I actually now see energy in the room, like the matrix, uh, and you can actually manipulate it with your hands. The energy of the room, which is quite quite quite. Unbelievable. And when I do that, I end up seeing white light coming out of my hands. And I, I always think, can every, anyone else see that? <laughs> Am I seeing 4D or it can, yeah. I want to take a picture, but I'm concentrating. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. it messes with uh, electronics. Yeah. Uh, so if you're recording something, sometimes the camera picks it up or it freezes the recording or it messes with the sound or the computer just goes eh, 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 you know yeah, and you got to restart that's when you do protection from yourself as well and that's the uh <laughs> the triangle one that i had it's got oh, where it is, is that it? yeah that's where this this stops the protect this protects the recording have you got one yeah that protect oh. i tell you what you know when you said you chip some it that's what i did <laughs> Oh yeah, it it kind of yeah it breaks your heart when you damage yeah. your friend. Uh, I've damaged this one. Can you see it? Yeah. You've seen, seen the little chip. 
So this little guy, the obsidian, this is really good. So you kind of hold it at an angle. So it's not kind of, so this would be, if you're seeing this, you got a little bit light. That's see what you're seeing right now. That's the perfect vantage point. Mm. And then as you're gazing, you see it becoming cloudy and it helps relax the mind and relax the gaze. And I've, I've, uh, yeah, I've, I've heard this one, a tiny, tiny, tiny little chip. So yeah, here. Yeah. And I'm, I, I'm 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 there. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's even worse than chipping your tooth. You mm. get emotionally attached to these little guys. So, uh, no. <laughs> well, it, we run about protection and that, mm -hmm. that pyramid there is protecting everyone watching this because tech is one of the worst things you can get attacked by quite easily. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, it seems that um, electronic medium so whether it's um, a copper cable or a radio channel in different frequencies radio waves tv satellite it's possible for negative consciousness to travel through these but this also includes power lines it, it also people... includes the people watching if they think this is a and that can send out to us so. yeah so yeah, all around, um, this is probably a good idea for everyone to have crystals near their um, most frequently used computer or TV. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, as we talked about treating the crystal like a gentle and dear, dearly loved friend, uh, giving it the intention uh, to transmute. Hmm. So it's pretty much like a meat grinder. All the negative stuff comes in and it's ground like you see they do with uh, cut down trees. They grind the, the branches and it becomes compost. So that would be a good visualization. <laughs> Definitely. Wow. Protection, scrying, words are power. Well, we've covered so many things. Um, a, a good way is also to build up the auric field. And a good way is to... Uh, uh dragon's breath or central sun that, that i have a central sun and dragon's breath and that can build it up a bit and that protects you from the uh spiritual parasites yeah i i once was healing uh, my niece and i was looking at the auric field while i was healing and she said what's me or actually what's my aura field color and i said York feels broke at your shoulder. She said, I injured it that morning. How do you know? I said, I've got to fix that or you get a parasite in there. And that, that's what you, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and now imagine um, many people are carrying um, energetic injuries from multiple lifetimes. It's pretty mm -hmm. much like an open wound and all sorts of things can make it in through that. Yeah. So it's yeah. so important yeah. for people to take responsibility for their healing. Um, see, just because you're not aware of it doesn't mean it's not there and it's not affecting you. Mm. Sometimes people may approach this type of stuff with hesitation or even worse, maybe fear. But that is the worst thing. Knowledge is mm. power. Um, when you have correct information whatever it may be, then you make correct decisions. So, and you know something else, people are happy spending money on their car, but when it comes to their own energy, their immortal energy, then they kind of think, oh, do I really need it or no? Mm. It kind of shows mm. you well, we've got our priorities wrong. Yeah. <clears throat> and, and then there are others yeah. like you and I, who don't really care too much about cars. We're all in with energy and making sure the energy is good. The, the body yeah. is the ultimate vehicle, but after can a I, while, can, you got to get rid of it. Can I give you another trick to protect your body, to clear out what you have? If you have a glass of pure water, and program it to take your negativity out of your body. It's easy enough. Easy enough. Yeah. You can send it love, but you can also send it love and then tell the water that anything it's not for me is good. Just just gab hold of it and let it go. Let it flush it away. Yeah. Beautiful. 
Well, mm. ultimately, um, water, let's just include that into mm, the category of crystals. Mm. It's the ultimate badass crystal um, in, in its liquid form. So we're, we're dealing with it in its liquid form mostly. Uh, it can become absolutely crystallized depending on the energy, the shape of the crystal will change. These are easily, um, you can investigate this really easily, how water freezes depending on impurities in it and what kind of energy you give to it. If it becomes crystal clear or if it's smoky, if it's got mm. imperfections in it. Uh, but I love that approach because water is pretty much available to everyone. And mm. so they may do all that we have spoken about using a container of water. Yeah. No need for any expense either. So they can program the most awesome crystal grid within a container of water. And then mm. you bless it every morning and you feed it to your plant or I don't know, um, do something else with it. That's that's mm. uh, appropriate. Or program the water, say. Grow that plant double. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. He heal make the plant it. so you're not mm. wasting water either. Heal and bless the plant, make it bloom like bloody crazy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. I hadn't thought of any of this stuff. Yeah, you, you've got a good effect, my my friend. <laughs> this this is this yeah. is amazing. You're welcome. So what did we cover? Words and spells, grounding and protection, <clears throat> crystals and scrying. Hmm, hmm, I, I, I the, wonder, I wonder. The, yeah, the one thing with words, though, never never say anything or think anything bad because you're just making yourself bad, aren't you? If you wish darkness on someone, you're getting it back anyway, so it's making your vibration into that, yeah. Mm. Thank you for going back to this point. Um, once we identify a thought that is not loving, mm. whatever it may be, we have the ability to flip the script. Uh, many times these are other sources, other conscious beings trying to manifest through the human because mm. ultimately we are creators. Uh, many other beings are not. They don't have an anchor in this reality. Many of them don't have access to source light. Mm. They're stuck with feeding off us and using us to do their dirty work. So, long story short, uh, once you notice a thought that is not loving, you can change the so storyline. So something and something negative comes in, but then you say, but oh, miraculously, this completely turned on his head and they all, li all lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> And if it's someone intruding into your consciousness, you can sense them getting really pissed off. Oh, no, you didn't. I, 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 I know something that you said that I say. I say the same. Send it back to sender. <laughs> yes, send, send back to sender. I've it's seen like, you do yeah. that, but I thought that's what I say. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, it's, it's a, yeah. Mm. <laughs> send back to sender. Yep. That with, works love, with love, with love, <laughs> with uh, appropriate levels of love. It's like, you know, <laughs> so, 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 <laughs> it's like salt and pepper. You need appropriate levels. Too much, yeah. maybe not. <laughs> mm. exactly. Oh wow! Um, so, um, shall we? Shall we attempt to um, do a healing with sound? Maybe we okay. can empower it with our crystals this time. Mm -hmm. um, okay, let's see what wishes to come forth. Protection for everyone. Yeah, got to do that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm just going to try some that I've never tried before. I want to see what my crystal ball does when I'm sat doing it. Okay, I'm, I'm using, again, representation of crown with quartz. Uh, yes. This is, um, again, volcanic glass, but this is called Shaya, yeah. uh, a Lemurian, Lemurian uh, consciousness. Uh, I, and the energy is the big happy. So <laughs> let's include protection, consciousness, and the big happy. Mm. I, I'm using my emerald. Uh, yeah. 
I want to see if the emerald can go in the circle when I can play it. We, we, we shall see. Yeah. It, it does. Amazing. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Mine can do it. <laughs> it's got a flat to it. The, the round ball can't do it. I'm blowing a bit of dragon fire in it. Dragon breath. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I can I can most certainly feel the enhancements adding the crystal in the middle of the singing bowl. Oh my mm. god! <laughs> wow. Uh, have you ever done it before? I haven't. <laughs> Me neither. Me neither. <laughs> I did it in that picture, but I never played it before. Like uh, but you, you've you've probably seen people uh, float these in water. And yeah. then they just uh, hit the edge, and you can see the patterns of sound that is creating. So those mm. are vibrating the crystal. You and know, energy I, is energy. I was given by by my guides to you put water in, play it, and then drink the water. And I was I was mentioning it to uh, Jake at the sound healing bowl, and he said we do that in Tibet. And I was thinking, I thought it was original. <laughs> Someone else does it. <laughs> they do it anyway. So, um, ordered water. You're mm. giving it that uh, that pattern. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Are, are we rediscovering? Are we reinventing the wheel? <laughs> <laughs> but what, what was what was strange is I thought that was an original piece of information to spread. Uh, but it, it, Tibet Tibet and monks do it. So but that's life, isn't it? Them yeah. Tibetan monks, they seem <laughs> to have, yeah, they seem to be on the money. Yeah. Um, well, that's what happens when you live up in the mountains, uh, breathe clean air, get pure sunlight, drink clean water, and pray all day, every day. So, mm. yeah, if, if they wouldn't be spiritual, that would be a big fail. So, yeah, I mean... You... <laughs> yeah. They're not in the uh, fast lane like us. Yeah. In the nice slow lane. Just, what a life, eh? Yeah. You know, this hamster wheel, it is pretty much a, a crazy hamster wheel on crack, right? It's turned into something that's really extreme. Not so much enjoyable anymore. That joy of life seems to be missing for many, many people. Uh, you know, I hope that uh, this energy that we sent out, the intention of healing and protection, and the big happy, will put a dent into it. Exactly. Yeah. True. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, my esteemed friend, uh, shall we bring it to a close? We're at about an hour. Uh, we covered. Uh, I, yeah, I'll just say one thing. I I, I have protect bees on me as well to protect me. Uh, that one, that one, mm -hmm. and that one. These were given to me by my sister. Now my sister knew a family, and they had a shaman. A shaman who was in his nineties, and he died. And they gave it gave these the these to her. There's also a, a star as well, but it's at home. And she gave them to me, and each one had a box, and it was, had Raphael on it. Yeah, she didn't oh, know wow. it. Okay. It, was, it was like it was like a gift <laughs> I was being given. So yeah, these tools help me uh, protect. I try and wear 
I lost them, I told you, for a month and I was gutted, but that was just to test that I can. I don't need them if I don't have them. So I get that. So uh, Anything else? Uh, oh, another protection. Uh, yeah, I think we mentioned it last week, but I manifest a flower into my sh building and it's and it grows violet flame into all the structure so all of a sudden every the brickwork of me house is protected from attack yeah uh you can also use tarot cards to protect as well uh, you can do the old-fashioned way put a mirror around you and that'll protect you but what I like doing, I like putting two mirrors. Put one mirror to protect me and then another mirror around it. And in between, like a, a grounding vortex. So anything that actually goes through the fruit, first mirror, which you let them in, you can't get out, but they can't go through. So they end up getting grounded. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, I'll share one. And it would be my final one that I can think of. It's um, astral landscaping. So you've taken care of the physical dimension, your house, planted appropriate objects with intention, whether it be a crystal or an object or water or the very masonry of the building. So you've taken care of the physical dimension. Then comes the astral, where we dream in. And so for ages, I was getting... Um, attacked left, right and center. And then I thought to myself, well, of course, there's no barriers or boundaries. So I grew up in a, a dry climate and I know how tough the desert is. So I created a desert around me. Those that don't have good intention will have to go through the desert. And then I thought, OK, but this is too long. I don't have time. A ain't nobody got time for that. So I turned it into fire sand. If something is trapped there. I don't want to be gathering corpses in the astral all day. The fire sand will take care of it. And then I thought, okay, but what if something flies above the sand? So then I added these uh, octopus plants that would snap them out of the sky and put them on the surface of the fire sand. So that if they are, if they have bad intentions, then the fire would take care of them. And it's like a self cleansing oven. Pretty good. Now, interesting. Those who have pure intentions and are approaching with reverence and respect, they don't even see the desert. <laughs> and then I've had those that's, that uh, kind of reached the edge, saw the flames and said, oh, hell no, we're not, we don't want this. <laughs> so I've had, it's very interesting. This setting the scenery in the astral is very effective, especially if people are getting um, um, unsolicited influences in the astral. Now, they may also enhance it. OK, you know what? Uh, dig a ditch and fill it with alligators and then put a long tower with machine guns and stuff and then plant a, a minefield around it. You know, this is all now your um, your astral landscape and the way you enhance it and create it is your protective barrier. So if you leave it open, of course, there's nothing to stop things coming towards you. So the same way you can plant intention into sentient little buddies like this. Uh, the very fabric of the universe is also malleable and programmable, and you can give intention to every dimension of existence. So what we do in the physical, we can absolutely do in other domains. Yeah. I've got one more, one more. Yes, please, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> right, just before you sleep, you do a manifestation. And what you do, you program every cell of your body, and that's a lot of voltage there, hell of a lot of voltage, to ground anything that's not for your highest good. Anything that gets through your auric field, it will send it to Earth. So, yeah, another one. Another new one. <laughs> Should write a book, shouldn't we? <laughs> well, you know, it's um, it seems that the combination of our energy in this joyous and respectful and loving atmosphere that we have is very conducive uh, mm. to remembering a whole range of techniques and then also confirmation that independently we've discovered or let's say downloaded this eternal wisdom 
And so this should be also confirmation for our wonderful esteemed audience that this is also completely accessible to you. It seems this kind of protective, beneficial and loving information is available to all of us. That I, makes I, me so yeah, happy. I, I've been told that all your knowledge should be shareable. Everyone should have it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. Mm. So. Okay, yay. <laughs> that, that was fit. That was good though, wasn't it? That, that was yeah. a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think we channeled a lot of energy too. Mm. I'm heating up again. So yeah, I think we did some <laughs> good work here together today. Yeah. That was great. I hope everyone good. enjoyed that. Me and too. For, Me too. And the next time. What That's subject I wonder what the subject the next time we'll work it out. We will we'll figure it out. I, Otherwise, I was, just, I, I was thinking of the chakra system and how to use it and stuff like that. <laughs> yes. Oh my. Oh my God. Yes. 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 Let's mm. let's deal with this. Uh, yeah. The the yeah the chakras. <laughs> mm. And it's not just seven. Uh, I don't understand why people just use seven. Well, I I want to use them all. <laughs> well, you know the 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 ones associated with the physical body. Uh, the most important ones, well, of, again, there are more than seven, but I suppose the people are looking at the health of the body first and foremost. So I suppose that's why the main focus, oh, hey, hey, man, let's leave it for next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you mate. Okay, thank you, everyone. Yeah. Uh, thank you, my dear friend. And yes, m more to come. Hey, exactly, definitely. I enjoy these. It's me too. Me too. It's the I highlight. Get a bit, of, I get a bit of, worried. Of, I get a bit worried. Is an hour long enough? But it always seems to be not 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 long enough. <laughs> well, hey, well, we we gotta um, keep people interested. Yeah. So uh, everybody, yeah. back you come next week, same time. Okay. Oh yes, right. and sub right. subscribe, uh, share, uh, spread the word that there are two wizards that talk about stuff. Mm. <laughs> Talk about stuff that no one talks about. Nobody yeah. talks about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They want to keep it secret, and that's not that's not humanity, is it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, all the best. Thank you, everyone. Have a great Sunday. What's left? You too. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>